So here I'm going to set up a basic CMake project. And CMake is a build system that will allow us to build our source code for a different IDE, whether it be Visual Studio, Xcode, Eclipse, or whatever you're using. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and create a new uh, text document. And I'm going to call that text document CMakeLists.txt. This is going to be the main file that will CMake will point to and build everything in the source tree that I tell it to. So I also want to create um, here a, another text file. And that text file I'm just going to call main.cpp. Um, okay, great. So now I have the two files over here. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to open up um, Sublime or Notepad or whatever you want to actually use and open up that cmakelist.txt file so that I can actually edit it. And I'm going to basically put in um, three lines of code into there and they're going to look like this. Uh, the first line is a CMake minimal required line which just says, you know, run CMake that's better than this version uh, so I don't run legacy stuff. The second line is going to create the overall project name and I'm going to call that project name hello and that's can have a number of sub projects underneath it. Uh, here I'm going to add run sub add one sub project and executable. That project name is going to be hello world, which is the first variable, and it's going to take one source file, and this is going to be main.cpp. So here I'm going to save that out, and now I have the main the CMake list file um, set up in this repository of my actual code. So I will start CMake and CMake will load up using the GUI. I will take the directory, and you can put this wherever you want. I just made this you know, C code, but if you put it on your desktop, it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna put CMake C code and then C code, but here in the second line, I'm gonna add build. What that is saying is put all the source files that CMake is going to create into the build directory, which is under code, so it's separated from my source tree. I'm going to come down here and hit configure. It says the build directory does not exist. Uh, I want you to create it. And now I have to pick uh, what editor I want to actually use. This is where sometimes it can get tricky because Visual Studio, if we're using Visual Studio 2015, you might be inclined to pick uh, Visual Studio 15 Win64, but that's actually referring to Visual Studio 2017. What you want to pick is Visual Studio 14. That says right here 2015 and the 64 bit version. And that will actually let us open it up in the uh, 2015 version of Visual Studio. Blame Microsoft for the bad uh, numbering scheme. So I hit next on that. Uh, it will basically run uh, some things down here that I can see what the outputs are. And it's basically checking to make sure I have a working C compiler underneath. Uh, if I don't, if I don't have Visual Studio installed, it will yell at me and put some errors down here that I can look at. Uh, then I'm going to generate it. So now you'll see I have a build directory here. If I double click it, I have a solution file. And if I double click that solution file, it will load up uh, Visual Studio Community for me. And it takes a second to actually load here on my surface. So here it's preparing the solution and loading up. And now you can see Visual Studio has loaded up uh, the project for me and that Hello World project which corresponds uh, to the Hello World project here, I see is visible. And then under the source tree, I can see that main CPP, which basically doesn't have anything in it, which you know is correct. Uh, something I might want to do in Visual Studio is right click it, uh, set it up a startup project. So if I run you know, the tools, start without debugging, it actually runs uh, the word, the code that's actually in the Hello World program.